Hi guys! So I know it's a bit late, but here's a tutorial I created for you. It's actually an avatar inspired look. So we've got lots of blues, and we've got blue on the cheeks a bit here, and a bit on the lips as well. I know it may be a bit outrageous for some people, but I think it could be quite wearable for others. You can totally mix it up to your style and suit your face. If you want to tone down the eyes a bit, you know, not do the blue on the cheeks, that's up to you. But I thought it was really cute, and yeah, I really enjoyed the movie, so hope you liked the look. So I applied foundation with a stippling brush, now I'm applying my primer, eyeshadow primer, and just blending it in with my ring finger because that's the gentle, most gentle finger and it's just really soft against your eye because you don't want to irritate those eyes, make them all red because that would not look good against the blue. <laughs> and then I'm just repeating that on the other side. My nail polish is OPI My Big Break, by the way. I'm sure I'll get quite a few questions from that, so I thought I'd just let you know. Just smoothing it, make sure it's going up to the brow bone. And then taking an eyeshadow brush, just using a light shimmery yellow to just sort of highlight underneath my brow and also provide a nice base. Now I'm using a medium bluish colour. It's gorgeous and I'm just patting that onto the eyelid and then brushing it a little to make sure it's smoothly distributed all over the eyelid, not going past the crease. I'm taking a slightly dark blue now. Look at that gorgeous ocean colour and I'm just using a blender brush to buff it into the crease of my eyelids. If you don't have a crease, buff it to where you think your crease would be, so where your socket is, kind of. <laughs> I'm using a mirror, that's why I'm looking down, because it's a lot easier to see the mirror in front of me than the one that I use behind my camera. Buff, buff, buff. And then I'm using a black gold glitter to just define the crease and deepen it a bit. So just using a tiny smudge brush, just apply it on the outer V and into the crease, as you can see me doing here with my mirror. <laughs> it's pink and Hello Kitty and we like that. So just make sure that you get quite a defined line and then again go back with the blending brush and blend it out shouldn't need too much blending taking a light blue and an angled brush I'm just going to add a little bit of highlight towards the inner corner but still keeping with the blue theme and around the tear duct as well as you can see here on the other side and take it down underneath to the lower lash line as well a bit. And then you just want to take the medium blue and fill in the rest of the lower lash line. Hope you can't hear my computer wearing. <laughs> And then take the dark blue and just make sure you sort of cut the outer edge. Then I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows using this e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I really like this kit. It's cute. And I'm just using the gel. It's like a brown gel. The one I'm using is dark, obviously, because I have dark eyebrows. taking this beautiful bright blush and then I'm just going to apply a thin coating to my cheeks just in a sort of half moon towards my temples and then I'm just going to use the blue to contour so that medium blue again just on the tip of my brush I'm just going to put it directly in the hollows of my cheeks so you can see that it's blue but it's subtle enough to be 
like a flash of colour that you can't really tell. And if you think it's too much, just blend, blend, blend until it's not so obvious. Obviously you don't have to do this step. Then I'm just going to tight line my eyes using an eye pencil. You can also use a gel or liquid if you like. Liquid is quite difficult to tight line with because it kind of just dissolves into the water of your eye. <laughs> and as you can see I'm only going halfway across the top of my eye because you can't really see the inner half of my eye. going to do a little flick on the outside to extend the eyes and also a little flick on the inside. This also helps to extend the eyes and make them look a little bit more alien like the Navi in Pandora. I know they're not aliens but <laughs> they kind of are. I'm using my favourite mascara, the one that I use every day by Ico. I really do love it. And I really didn't think I was going to, but it's actually such a good mascara. I think I just really like the formula. <laughs> and then of course, trusty Maggi Length, just to make sure that all the lashes are separated and lent them to their full potential. You can obviously use false lashes with this, Then I'm just going to apply this purple lipstick. This one is actually really nice because it has really nice gold reflex in them and you can see in the centre of my lips there's a bit of gold shimmer. I'm using a blue lip gloss just to help enhance with the blueness. It also makes your teeth look a bit whiter. I'm adding some of that medium blue dazzle dust again, just dabbed on top of the gloss, just to make my lips a little more blue. Add as much or as little as you like. So this is the completed look. As you can see, I hope you enjoyed and there will be more videos coming up soon. Bye!